I've been an activist for the LGBT community for years. My name is Jacob Tobiah. I am a senior pursuing a Program 2 degree in Human Rights Advocacy and Leadership, and I am a Benjamin Newton Duke Scholar. Will you join me? It's been really wonderful to sort of come in with this strong background as an LGBT activist, um, get the scholarship because of it, and then have the scholarship and its programming reinforce me being able to learn more. Ladies and gentlemen, and everywhere in between, I come to you today to share a simple fact. Friends, I'm tired. I'm tired of living in a world where I have to fight each and every day for my very identity. The community and the people I've been able to work with have given me the resources I've needed to, uh, you know, to really take my activism and my academic engagement with the LGBT community and the LGBT struggle to the next level. Going to South Africa, going to Johannesburg and Cape Town um, during my international summer of service with the BN program was an incredible life-changing experience for me. I worked for a gay and lesbian archive um, in Johannesburg, digitizing letters from apartheid prisoners who had been in prison because of their gay rights activism. And then went to Cape Town where I worked with a group called Sanke Gender Justice Network, which works on preventing gender-based violence. I decided that I wanted to write a senior history thesis on South African gay and lesbian um, history and produce a documentary film about the same topic. I also cared a lot about the lessons that their history could teach my movement, or that our own movement in the United States doesn't forget about LGBT people who are most marginalized. During Hurricane Sandy, the Ali Forney Center, a shelter for homeless LGBT youth, was demolished by the hurricane. And so I you know, coordinated a fundraiser where I ran across the Brooklyn Bridge in high heels um, and was able to raise $11,000 for the recovery effort of the Ali Forney Center. My research almost feels like activism at times, and my activism feels kind of like research at other times. Um, for me, there hasn't been this sort of curricular, extracurricular separation. And I think that's been really made possible by the BN. In a lot of ways, the Truman and the BN feel very similar. The Truman Scholarship is all about people who are dedicated to public service and, and to, to serving the community in their, in their postgraduate life. And that's what the BN's core values are. And it'll definitely be a lifelong network for me, uh, in the same way that the BN will be a lifelong network of support for me uh, during my career going forward. Take risks and enjoy them and really get something out of them. Uh, and the second thing I'll say is just that the only way that you'll be small is if you think of yourself as small. Everyone around you is really incredible, but that shouldn't intimidate you away from taking advantage of incredible opportunities here. You have a vision for what you want to do here and, and actualize it. This place will change around you. This place will be better for you having been here, um, as long as you're you know, willing to take risks and to, to show Duke who you really are.